In the dry season, finding food takes up most of the baboon troops' daylight hours. They can eat almost anything. Handy when there's so little food available during these tough, lean months. Seeds, roots, and even unappetizing dry gourds are all on the menu. The alpha male and his females have found something far more valuable. A nest of ants. Miniature packets of precious protein. But ants are tiny, and finding enough for a meal requires total concentration. Keeping the alpha male distracted. While he's looking the other way, a younger male sneakily mates with one of his females. The act is a direct challenge to the alpha male's authority. And he's just realized what's going on. The other low-ranking males huddle together, knowing trouble's brewing. There's confusion in the troop. The alpha male must assert his authority. the neighborhood. The baboons are attracting attention, and not in a good way. In the confusion, the hungry leopard has seized the opportunity to take down one of the baboons. He finally gets a meal. The alpha male has survived, but he's injured. Infighting has led to the death of a troop member. He's still in charge, but he has to impose control soon, or the troop will remain vulnerable to attack. By midday, the temperature is a scorching 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The hunters crash in the heat and a temporary truce falls across the neighborhood. For the puku, it's time to rest. The baboons nod off in the heat.
and the guinea fowl head for the shade. Their beautiful spotted feathers help conceal them in the dappled light, which gives them a chance to take a nap. But their rest is brief. As the afternoon rolls on, the temperature drops. And for the youngsters, it's a chance to play. This is fun but fun with a purpose. They practice their stotting skills. Even these rookies are able to leap three feet off the ground. The gallop, twists and turns are all part of their escape maneuvers and home agility. The chase builds stamina and speed all essential skills for life as a puku in the Wangwa Valley. Evening arrives quickly here. There's just time for the baboons to have a last forage before heading to the safety of the trees. The youngsters have spotted something more interesting a slender mongoose. It's caught a cobra. It's inadvertently doing the baboons a favor. An accidental bite from the snake would kill any one of the troop. Especially the young and overly inquisitive. As the moon rises in the sky, the mood darkens in the valley below. The hunters are on the move. Hey, Love Nature fans. Be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.